And hello, everybody, and welcome to Connersville, Indiana. We are at Temple Christian High School in Connersville. My name is Mark Bixler. Glad to be with you here tonight. It's Faith Christian of Greenville, Ohio, against Temple Christian. Faith Christian, of course, a part of Faith Baptist, while Temple Christian, Connersville Temple Christian, a part of Temple Baptist here as well. Tonight, the Conquerors stand at 2-1 and one entering tonight's ball game. Temple Christian is at 1-1. One and one. Our officials, Bob Beeson and Jeff Gabbard. We'll be back and take a look at the starting lineups in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville. And Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. And we welcome you back here to Connorsville Baptist Temple, Temple Christian High School. My name is Mark Bixler as the starting lineups being introduced. First off for the Conquerors of Faith Christian, double zero Matt Sutter, a 5'11 sophomore. Aaron Foreman, a 6'3 senior. John Knight is a 5'11 sophomore. He'll be wearing number 21. Aaron Foreman, number 14. Nick North, a 6'1 senior, will be wearing 23. And Justin Wiegand, number 35, a 5'8 senior. For the Temple Christian Eagles, number 40 is David Unger. He is a 5'10 junior. Andy Boger is number 12, a 6'2 junior. Michael Segrist is number 50, a 5'10 junior. And a sophomore, number 11, Chris Boger, a 5'11 sophomore. And freshman Kenneth Unger, wearing number 14, he is 5'5. We'll be back with the opening tip in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. And we welcome you back, and we are, as we said, at Temple Christian High School at Connorsville Baptist Temple. My name is Mark Bixler, of course, living here in Connorsville now, but probably more familiar with Faith Christian. I know they return three individuals as the Eagles control the opening tip driving into the lane. That was number 12. Although I do not have a number 12, Andy Boger actually is who it is, as the rebound is to John Knight. Justin Wiegand will walk it across midcourt for the Conquerors. Brings it right side, that's Foreman, gives it to Knight. Down the middle, Wiegand dishes it off, Foreman lays it off the glass, will not go. And the rebound is to 
Andy Boger. Boger races up the right side, loses it. Knight comes up with it. Quickly ahead it goes to Foreman. Foreman dishes it off. Wiegand off the glass, too. 7-10 left here in the opening quarter of play. Faith Christian with the 2-0 lead. Unger dishes it off, and they tried to dish it off inside to Boger. Boger went back across the lane and didn't see it coming, and the Conquerors have it. They played just over a minute. Wiegand getting it across midcourt, but Boger comes up with the interception. Boger nearly lost it, but goes back and gets it. Gives it up to Unger. Unger across midcourt. Top of the key. Brings it left side. 4-2. That is number 14, Kenneth Unger. He couldn't get it. John Knight grabs the rebound. Quickly ahead it goes to Wiegand. Ahead it goes to Sutter. Off the glass. It's not going to count. Traveling is called. And that gives it back to the Eagles with 6.25 left. Still 2-0. Oger puts it in play to Unger. That's David Unger. He'll get it across midcourt. Faith in a man-to-man. Giving it off to Chris Boger. Boger left wing. Inside it goes. It's deflected away. John Knight comes up with it. Conquerors get it across midcourt. That's Knight. Knight in some trouble. Gives it off to Nick North on the right wing. One of the starters that returns. Aaron Foreman, another. Gives it up to Justin Wiegand. In the middle, that's... John Knight lays it in for two. We play just over two minutes, and it's a 4-0 lead for the Conquerors. Kenneth Unger across midcourt, being guarded by Knight. Left side of the free throw line, across court it goes. That's right side on the wing, number 50, Michael Segris. Left side, that's Unger, dishes it off to Kenneth Unger. Boger, Chris Boger, gives it off to... David Unger, the shot does not go. Nick North grabs the rebound, gives it up to Foreman to Wigan, and he'll get it across midcourt quickly. Ahead uh, it goes to North. North looks to penetrate the lane, stops, pops, leaves it short. About a five-footer that he left it. Only shot at four. The rebound is to the Eagles. Chris Boger fires, can't get it to go. North with the rebound quickly to Wigan. Wigan ahead it goes to Foreman. Foreman chases it down. Gives it to Wiegand, stops from the right wing, cannot get it to go. North nearly grabbed the rebound, but it's the Eagles that come away with it. David Unger gets it across, pressured by Wiegand. Left side it goes, Chris Boger, baseline, that's Andy Boger for two. Cannot get it to go. We played nearly three and a half minutes, and Temple Christian yet to get on the scoreboard. Four nothing, Faith with only four points. Underneath it goes to North, tries the reverse, goes up with it, gets it off the glass. A nice kiss with four and a half minutes. Faith leading at six to nothing and a timeout taken by Temple Christian. And a 20-second timeout is taken. We will keep it right here. Six nothing with 426 remaining. Faith Christian leading it. As we said, this is Temple Christian's third game. They stand one and one on the year. Faith Christian traveling to Erie, Pennsylvania to play in a tournament. From what we understand, finishing in third, two and one their record at that tournament. David Unger gets it across midcourt, being guarded by Justin Wiegand. Right side, it goes to Boger. Over to Unger, he fires, cannot get it to go. John Knight grabs the rebound, gives it up to Foreman. Foreman will walk it across midcourt. Dishes it off, Wiegand stops, lays it up, cannot get it, gets his own rebound. Spins, turns, fires, good. Eight, nothing. 350, under 350 left in the opening quarter of play. The Conquerors with the lead. Andy Boger with it in the middle. That's Kenneth Unger, gives it back to Andy Boger, right side wing, Kenneth, or rather, David Unger, left side it goes Boger. Andy Boger, the baseline jumper, nails it. That gets Temple Christian on the board. It's an 8-2 ball game as Aaron Foreman gets it across midcourt. Foreman gives it up to Knight. Knight 
Gives it to Wiegand. Wiegand out top. The pass intended for North. Boger with the steal. Lays it off the glass, too. And it's an 8-4 ball game. Suddenly, Temple Christian with a couple quick baskets. Foreman across midcourt. On the right side, it goes to Knight. Knight out top. It goes to Sutter. Sutter in the middle. Wigan nearly lost it, dishes it off to Foreman. He sets up the offense from the left side. Out top it goes Sutter to Foreman. Wigan stops, fires left side of the free throw line. Cannot get it. Knight grabs the offensive board. Big rebound. Foreman thought for three, but thinks better and now brings it back up to set it up the offense. North dribbles down the left side, lays it off the glass. Good. Back to a six-point ball game, 10-4 the score. 2.25 left there in the opening quarter of play. Chris Boger gives it to David Unger. Our officials, Bob Beeson, Jeff Gabbard. Andy Boger from the right side, right elbow of the free throw line, nails it, and it's back to a four-point game. rim it does not drop we've completed one quarter here with the score faith christian 10 temple christian 6 helping underwrite this event the made right sandwich shop located on north broadway in greenville the ansonia lumber company located on main street 
by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. We welcome you back here to Temple Christian High School at Connersville Baptist Temple. My name is Mark Bixler. A second quarter play has started. Unger comes up with a steal from Wigan. Drives into the lane, lays it off the glass, two. 10-8. The lead is trimmed to two. Wigan stops, gives it back to North. North looks to drive baseline, cut off. Wigan thinks about it, but brings it back out. Wigan topside, gives it off to Foreman on the left side wing. Out top it goes tonight, right side it goes Wigan. Wigan in the middle, Foreman takes the pass back to Wigan. Wigan lobs it underneath. Foreman lays it in all alone. They did a nice job of posting up and pinning Segrist off. And that makes it a four-point ball game again, 12-8. We approach the seven-minute mark here in the second quarter. The lob goes in, tipped out. Kenneth Unger comes up with it, gives it back to Segrist out top. David Unger with it, left side top. Gives it to Chris Boger. Boger looks to drive, but cut off. In the middle, it's tipped out, intended for Kenneth Unger. That is Foreman that brings it down to Wigan. Wigan fakes, pops, and it's good. Count it. The lead is back to six. Justin Wigan will be going to the line, getting one. 14-8 the score. 6.40 remains. Second quarter of play. That foul on Michael... Segrist, his second. Wiggins' free throw is good. It's a seven-point ball game again. Rather again, that's the biggest lead of the night. 15-8 the score. Jeff record coaching for record coaching for Temple Christian. Mike Schellebarger for Faith Baptist. David Unger with it out top, being guarded by Knight. And that is deflected out of bounds. It'll be Temple Christian ball, and the ball game is number 10, Clint Allen for the Eagles. 6-16 remains, 15-8. Faith with the lead, a seven-point lead for the Conkers. Unger kisses it off the glass, could not get it. Andy Boger, the follow, good. 15-10 as Wiegan quickly ahead it goes to Knight. Knight lays it in for two. And just like that, the Conquerors with the fast break, and it's a 17-10 game again, back to a seven-point lead. David Unger with it, being guarded by Knight. Knight, rather Unger gives it to Boger. Andy Boger. Boger out top, it goes to Segrist. Segrist to Andy Boger. Boger gives it to Kenneth Unger. Unger right side it goes. David Unger. Again being guarded by Knight. Segrist with it left side on the wing. Out top it goes to Allen. Top of the key right side. Boger fakes now drives. Dishes it off to Allen. It's blocked by Foreman. Segrist grabs the rebound. Stops. Fires. Will not go. Wiegan with the rebound. Pushes it ahead to Foreman. Foreman. Drives in, lays it off the glass for two, and the biggest lead yet, 19-10. David Unger across midcourt for the Eagles, drives into the lane, stops, lays it off the glass, it's good. Back to a seven-point game, 19-12 as Wiegand gets it across midcourt. Wiegand drives into the lane, right side it goes Knight. 
Knight Foreman for three does not go. The rebound is to uh, David Nielsen. Wiegand fires for three, and he nails it. Well, just like that, the lead is 10, 22-12. Unger gives it to, David Unger gives it to Kenneth Unger. Right side on the wing. Allen takes it, top of the key. Left side it goes, Boger. He drops it from the left side. Just off of the wing, close to the lane, actually. And it's an eight-point game, 22-14. Knight looks to drive, back to the wing. Now takes it out to Foreman. Wiegand gives it to Foreman, right side. Foreman on a clear out, and it's not going to count. It was before, and that's going to be on Segrist, and if so, that is his third. Common foul. Checking back into the ball game is Chris Boger. He will replace Segrist. 3.58 remains. An eight-point lead for the Conquerors as Nick North takes it out. On the baseline, gives it to Knight. Knight out top, it goes Foreman. Left side, Nielsen. Nielsen to Wigan. Wigan from the top of the key. He'll bring it back out. They set it up again. Wigan right side, it goes Foreman. Foreman to Knight on the baseline. Gives it to Wigan. Fires for three, and it's a little long. North, the offensive rebound. Got it. 24-14. Back to a 10-point lead, three and a half minutes left. Their second quarter of play. Kenneth Unger looks inside, being guarded by Wiegand. Wiegand, his man gave it up. That's Boger in the middle. Nice runner, got it. Back to an eight-point game, 24-16. Runner in the lane. Wiegand in the lane, gives it back to Foreman. Foreman to Wiegand, left side wing. They try to get it into Nielsen. Boger on a breakaway, lays it up, and he is fouled by Wiegand, could not get it to drop. Boger, Andy Boger, will be going to the line, getting a pair. 2.56 remaining, second quarter, 24-16, as Andy Boger will try to trim this lead. Take it to a seven-point game, and ultimately, they a temple... Christian fan. You'd like to see it even less, but that's not going to happen, at least on the free throws. His second free throw is good after he missed the first. It is a seven-point game right now. 24-17 as Knight takes the pass, and we are going to have another 20-second timeout taken by Faith Christian this time. 24-17, 251 is what remains here in the second quarter of play. Again, as we have said, Faith Christian, after their trip to Erie, Pennsylvania, and a tournament there, stands at 2-1. and one. We understand they finished in third place in that tournament. On the other hand, Temple, Temple Christian standing at 1-1. One and one. As play just about set to resume as both teams returning to the court. Well, if you're Temple Christian and you're wondering, Mark Bixler, well, my full-time job is with WIFE, and of course I have been doing the Connersville Boys basketball games with Matt Turner. And uh, Faith Christian, you might be thinking, hmm, you're unfamiliar with me as that basket is good, and it's a five-point lead, 24-19. Last year, we did the Dayton Christian District and Regional Games on WFCJ, and we'll be doing those again this year in a few games as well. One of the games we were scheduled to do has been canceled. We aren't doing that one anymore, and that is a pass from Wigan into North. It's tipped away, and now as we approach the two-minute mark, Boger takes it, and he's going to be called for traveling. Went up for it, just couldn't quite find the handle, and that turnover gives it back to the Conquerors. The game we were supposed to do December 19th has been canceled, and now been pushed back. The first game we will do is in January instead of the uh, December 19th game. Justin Foreman in the ballgame now, a 
5'8 freshman. Looks inside, gives it to Aaron Foreman, right side. That's David Nielsen. Pass intended for Foreman, but North, Johnny on the spot, comes up with it. But that pass taken away by David Unger. He lays it in, and it's blocked by North. That was a clean block. A minute 33 left. Tipped it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Eagles. Twenty-four nineteen as David Unger looks to drive, gives it into Andy Boger. He puts it up, cannot get it, gets his own rebound. The putback this time is good. And suddenly what was a 10-point lead moments ago is now three, 24-21. Aaron Foreman walks it across midcourt. My, how the mighty Mo changes. Knight gives it to Foreman. We approach the one-minute mark. Knight gives it to Justin Foreman. Out top it goes to Nick North. North, skip pass to Knight. Knight drives in, fakes, gives it back to Justin North. Or Justin Foreman. Nick North leaves it short. The rebound to Andy Boger. Gives it up to David Unger, and he'll get it across midcourt. It's 45 ticks. That's all that remains here in the third quarter. A three-pointer would tie it. Faith bringing out their pressure a little bit. Not a lot, but just enough. Chris Boger. Chris Boger with it out top, gives it to Andy Boger. Unger drives into the lane, stops, dishes it off to Chris Boger. We are under 10 seconds. David Unger puts it up. He is fouled, and guess what? Well, he's going to go to the line getting a pair. I thought they were going to call it before the shot. Did not. David Unger at the line getting two. First is good, 24-22. Justin Wiegand getting ready to check into the ball game, replacing Justin Foreman. Six point three seconds remains. Foreman's second free throw, or rather, Unger's second free throw is good. Foreman, Aaron Foreman, gives it to Wiegand. Wiegand stops, fires for three, does not go. We have completed one half of play with the score. Faith Christian, 24. Temple Christian, 23. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street, by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum, by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison. Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville. McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville. Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles and New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. We welcome you back here to Temple Christian High School in Connorsville. My name is Mark Bixler. Glad to be with you. This game has definitely been a game of spurts, Temple Christian has never headed this game. However, they did come roaring back after trailing by as many as 10 points in the second quarter. In fact, trailed 22 to 12 at one point in the second quarter. But we stand right now 24-23 as the Eagles have outscored Faith Christian from Greenville after trailing by 10 points. 
11 to 2 to end the second quarter of play. And as we said, we stand. Faith Christian leading it by a point, 24 to 23. We'll be back with the second half of play in just a moment. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville, Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison, Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Second half of play, just about ready to get underway. Temple Christian will put the ball in play as we begin the third quarter. As Andy Boger puts it in play to David Unger. Kenneth Unger with it on the right side. Gives it out top. That's Clint Allen with it. Out between the circles. Right side it goes to Chris Boger. Boger looks inside. Brings it, looks to penetrate the lane, stops, drives down in the lane, cannot get it to go as John Knight pulls down another rebound for the Conquerors, and Wiegand gets it ahead quickly to Foreman. Foreman to North, back to Foreman on the wing. Wiegand, Wiegand, gives it to North, back to Wiegand, right side it goes to Foreman, it's tipped away. Andy Boger chases it down, lays it off the glass, cannot get it to drop, and... Temple Christian still does not, has never led this ball game, but Wigan turns it over with 7-11 left in the third quarter. 24-23, and again, Temple Christian with an opportunity to take their first lead of the night. David Unger gives it to Chris Boger between the circles. Andy Boger with it. Gives it to Allen. Allen on the baseline. Picks up his dribble. Lives, gives it inside to Boger. Boger dropped that shoulder. He's called for traveling. Very fortunate on that one. Could have been called for an offensive foul. He dipped that left shoulder into the defensive player, but official calling traveling instead. 99% of the time when you dip that shoulder, you're going to be called for the offensive foul. Sutter gives it out top to Aaron Foreman. Foreman to Knight. Knight drives baseline, goes up strong, gets it to go. The lead is back to three, 26-23, as Boger tried to take the offensive foul, but no call. David Unger gives it to Boger. Right side, it goes to Andy Boger. Chris Boger to Andy Boger. David Unger with it again. Right side, left side, check that. Goes to Boger. And a turnover giving it back to Faith Christian. 6.08 remains. Wigan will walk it across midcourt. One thing you can say, Faith Christian, they will take the break when they have it, but they'll slow it down when it's not there. Wigan thought about the three, but decided better. Foreman with it, lobs it underneath to Sutter. Sutter. Skips pass to Wigan. Underneath it goes to North. North off the glass. Too short. The rebound is to Andy Boger. Here come the Eagles again. David Unger takes it left side. Kenneth Unger with it. Gives it up. That is Boger. Left side, David Unger. Fires. Cannot get it to go. Loose ball. And it is Matt Sutter that comes up with it. Gives it to Foreman. Foreman across midcourt. Stops, top of the key. Right side it goes to Wiegand. 
Wiegand back to Foreman. Out between the circles to Wiegand. Drives. Baseline gives it to North. North back to Foreman. Left side it goes to Knight. Thinks about the three, but dishes it off. Foreman back to Knight. Knight looks inside. Nothing there. Tries to find North. Wiegand for three. Does not go. Knight the rebound. And the foul is going to go on end, or rather, Chris Boger is going to be whistled for that foul with 4.48 remaining. Third quarter of play, 26-23. Not a lot of action here as Knight nails that. Knight with both baskets for Faith here in the second half of play. And it's a five-point lead again for the Conquerors. Right side it goes to Allen. Allen now the Boger, Chris Boger. Kenneth Unger fires, cannot get it. David Unger backs in, and the foul is going to be called on Foreman before the shot. So it will be a common foul with 4.22 remaining. Looks like Unger. Check that Allen putting it in play. Unger fires, cannot get it. Boger the rebound. Chris Boger gives it to Kenneth Unger. Allen fires the other side, can't get it to go. And Knight skies for another rebound for the Conquerors. Knight gets it across midcourt. Foreman with it, right side on the wing. Now top to Knight. Back to Wiegand. Wiegand left side on the wing. Looks to drive. Dishes it off. Tries to find it in. And Wiegand is going to be called for the foul. Common foul. That is his third. Boger fires, cannot get it to go. Foreman, nice box out that time as Wiegand lobs it down to Knight, leaves it a little too tall for him. So the turnover gives it back to Temple Christian with 3.39 remaining. David Unger across midcourt. In the middle, that's Boger. Puts it up, leaves it short. Foreman the rebound, falls out of bounds. Boger comes up with it. Chris Boger dishes it in. Kenneth Unger, rather David Unger, is whistled for the charge. The turnover giving it back as Aaron Foreman takes that. 3.21 remaining. And that gives it back to the Conquerors. Well, Temple Christian having trouble scoring out of the box. They had trouble in the first half, in the first quarter. Again here in the second half as Sutter cannot get it to go. North, well, Knight tried to tip it back in, but apparently was on the line. So with 3.04, that gives it back to Temple Christian. David Unger across midcourt. Right side it goes to Boger. Boger to Kenneth Unger, being guarded by Sutter. Left side it goes to Andy Boger. Boger looks inside, and he'll hit Chris Boger in the middle. In some trouble, and the reach in, it's going to go on Wiegand, and that's his fourth. David Nielsen checking back into the ball game as he has to... Was it? Well, Chris Boger couldn't get that to go. Well, Nilsson should have shouldn't have been able to come into the game until this free throw with the new rule, but that one slips by, and quite frankly, I'm glad it did. I do not like that rule. Somehow the Eagles come up with it. Temple Christian with it as David Unger takes it out between the circles. Right side it goes to Andy Boger. In the middle, it's deflected away. Intended for, I believe that might have been David Unger, but somehow Temple came up with it. We do have a foul off the missed shot, the rebound, and it goes against Temple Christian. Andy Boger whistled for that, his first. 
Still a five point lead, 28-23. Temple Christian has went nearly six minutes without scoring. Nielsen gives it to Sutter. Sutter in the middle, intended for North, deflected away. And Andy Boger, Boger is in some pain. It appears to be his ankle. He has to come out now as coach making his way onto the floor. Michael Segrist, in the game. Michael Segrist checks in for Boger, and that could hurt Temple Christian a little bit. We'll have to see how much. Unger drives in, it's tipped away. Does come up with it, it's deflected away. Nielsen came up with that steal. Foreman gives it to North. North out top to Foreman. Now right side it goes to Knight. Knight looks inside, nothing there. Gives it back to Foreman. Foreman right side, Knight drives the lane, pulls up, gets the basket. Well, thus far here in the second half, it's John Knight six, Temple Christian nothing. 30 to 23. Faith leading it by seven as we have played seven and a half minutes. Temple Christian yet to score. It was 24-23 at the end of two quarters. Allen looks inside. Unger on the baseline, pulls up, cut off by Foreman. Out top it goes, that's Segrist. David Unger with it, left side on the wing. We are at the one minute mark. Chris Boger, right side it goes. Allen dishes it off, Segrist. And it's right into Sutter's hands. He will give it up to Foreman. We are at 45 ticks left here as North looks inside, dishes it out, Foreman tonight. Knight with it on the right side wing, gives it back to Foreman. Left side it goes now to North. Foreman to North. North stops, fires, it's in and out. The rebound is to Segrist. David Unger pulls it out, gives it up to Segrist. Out top, left side it goes to Kenneth Unger. Back to Segrist. Right side it goes to Chris Boger. Boger gives it to Segrist. Under 10 seconds, it is intercepted. Knight, he has all the points thus far. Pulls up, three seconds, gives it to Foreman. Tapped out, and that is going to be it. So the Conquerors had a chance, but could not come up with anything. We have completed three quarters. It is Faith Christian by seven. They lead Temple Christian 30 to 23. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville, the Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville, Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry, and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum, Versailles in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. We are just about ready to begin the fourth quarter of play. Temple Christian trailing this. We are at Temple Christian in Connorsville, 30-23. to 23. The Eagles trail the Conquerors of Faith Christian. Temple Christian failing to score in the third quarter. Nothing really spectacular defensively by Faith Christian. They just couldn't put the hole, the basket in the hole here in the third quarter. We are in the fourth quarter, just underway, about 20 seconds as Faith Christian with possession to start this final quarter. Unger with the steal, mismanagement of the ball, and they can't even, they cannot get that to drop. Foreman is whistled for the foul. 
I'll tell you what, it's just not going Temple Christian's way here in the second half. Thirty, twenty-three. Faith Christian with the lead. And if Unger gives it to, I believe that's David Unger with it out top between the circles. That's Segrist. Back in the ball game is Andy Boger, by the way. That's good to see. Segrist gives it up to David Unger. Unger looks inside. Top of the key, left side, Chris Boger. Boger back to David Unger. Unger gives it to Chris Boger. Well, that's Unger with it again. Drives into the lane. It is blocked. He'll go to the line getting a pair. Is it going to be on Nielsen or Knight? Could be on either one. John Knight whistled for that foul. His first. Thirty to twenty-three. Temple Christian yet to score here in the second half. They finally break that ice with a free throw. He'll get another. Second on the way, and it's good. Nothing but net. Back to a five-point game. Thirty twenty-five. Foreman gets it across midcourt. Foreman brings it left side top. That's North with it. North to Nielsen, out top between the circles. The ball is tipped. Nielsen nearly lost it. Foreman on the baseline, drives into the lane, puts it off the glass. Good. And it's back to a seven-point game, 32-25. David Unger with it, stops, gives it to Segrist, left side top. Segrist hoping to hit Andy Boger coming across the lane. Gives it up. That's Kenneth Unger with it, being guarded by Nielsen. Kind of Mutt and Jeff in that one. In the middle, Kenneth Unger, David Unger, kisses it off the glass. It's good. <laughs> Kenneth Unger, 5'5", five, five, was being guarded by David Nielsen, standing at 6'2". Foreman with it for the Conquerors. North takes it left side to Knight. Knight lobs it inside to Foreman, and he's fouled by Andy Boger. Still a common foul, only the fourth. And a timeout taken by the Eagles of Temple Christian. A 22nd timeout. 5.38 left here. It's a five-point game, so anything can happen. Not a lot of scoring here in the second half. It was 24-23 after, after two quarters. It stood at 30-23 after three, and right now it's 32-27. So the Eagles having outscored Faith Christian here in this fourth quarter, 4-2. Four Turning a seven-point game to five. Foreman in some trouble, gives it to Nielsen. Nielsen stops, fires, it's in and out. And it's Boger grabbing the rebound for the Eagles. David Unger with it, leading the charge for the Eagles. A chance to make this a three-point game. Boger kissed it off the glass. Nielsen with the rebound, quickly out to Sutter. Sutter gives it to Aaron Foreman, and he'll get it across midcourt. Sutter with it. Baseline it goes to Sutter. Sutter gives it back to Foreman. Foreman, that is Knight. The give and go, Sutter to Knight. And a whistle on Boger. As he has picked up two quick fouls here, giving him three on the night. Still a common foul, just the fifth. North puts it in play tonight. Knight, they look inside. They look for North, but nothing there. Sutter gives it to Nielsen. Back to Foreman. Drives in. Kisses it up. And a nice soft shot. Got the shooter's roll. Boger wanted an offensive foul, but the official deeming not enough contact made as David Unger drives down the lane. Gives it to Kenneth Unger. 
Left side it goes. That is Al or check that Segrist with the ball on the left side top. Being guarded by Sutter. Andy Boger with it. Boger gives it to David Unger. Kisses it off the rim. Cannot get it to go. The lead is seven as Faith with the ball here. As we approach the four-minute mark, the halfway point of the final quarter of play. And we are on the bleachers as North takes that pass. Not sure who got it to him, but a timeout is taken by Temple Christian. It's back to a nine-point lead for Faith Christian. And I believe this one is going to be a full timeout, so we will take a timeout. 4.07 remains. It is Faith Christian 36, Temple Christian 27. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry. And Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison. Montage Cafe, located in downtown Greenville. McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville. Osgood State Bank, with several locations. Family Health Services, Greenville, Arcanum, Versailles, and New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent, Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Well, it's a four-minute ball game now for Temple Christian. They are down by nine. They've got nine points, as we said, to make up. Inside, Segris lays it off the glass. A nice... Pass inside to Segrist as he lays it in for two, and it's back to a seven-point game. Inside it goes to North. North has it blocked, and a jump ball is called. On the alternating possession, it goes to... Temple Christian. left, so a basket here makes it a five-point game, possibly even four. Unger, David Unger gives it to Kenneth Unger. Out top it goes to Boger. Justin Wiegand with his four fouls, getting ready to check back into the ballgame as Andy Boger in the paint gets that to drop. And suddenly it's a 36-31 ball game. Well, at Faith Christian, looking at the scoreboard, you'd like that. They made it a 38-29 ball game, but instead it is 36-31. Nielsen gives it to Sutter. Nice move inside. He is fouled. Will go to the line inside. Sutter, a 5'11 sophomore, playing big inside, posting up and doing a nice job playing with his back to the basket. He will go to the line, getting two. Should be 36-31. They have not changed that yet on the scoreboard. As Sutter cannot get that to go. Justin Wiegand checking back into the ball game. It was 36-27. And then it was 36-29, but now 36-31. As Wiegand's second, or rather, the uh, Sutter's second free throw does not go. However, it was tipped out of bounds off of Temple Christian. So it will be Faith Christian's ball under their own basket. North putting it in play. The pass goes to Wiegand. Wiegand in the middle, dishes it back to Foreman. Inside, in some trouble. That's Knight with it. Out to Wigan. Fakes dishes it off to Foreman. Trying to milk some time off this clock. Faith doing a nice job. And Temple doing a nice job of the man-to-man. -man. Inside North lays it up. He is fouled. He will go to the line. Getting two. 
now you're to the point in the ball game where you're going to spend a lot of time at the free throw line. There's no question about that. You have a five point lead. Free throws will win the ball game if you can make them. His free throw, the first one is good. It's back to a six point lead, 37 31. 234 is what remains. Second is good as well. Back to a seven point game. 38 31. David Unger gives it to Chris Boger. That's Kenneth Unger with it at the free throw line. Back to David Boger. David Unger with it, looks to drive into the lane, dishes it off to Boger. Boger looks to drive into the lane, gives it to Andy Boger. He stops, fires, good. 38-33, back to a five-point game. This one's far from over. Good defensive stand, and Faith in some trouble as they turn it over. Aaron Foreman saying, calm down. Two minutes exactly left. Five-point game, 38-33. It's a low-scoring affair. David Unger gives it to Chris Boger, left side wing. Looks inside, nothing there. Gives it to Andy Boger in the middle. Kenneth, or rather David Unger, has it deflected off of Matt Sutter. And it'll stay with the Eagles, a minute 45. Michael Segrist puts the ball in play for the, uh, rather the Eagles. Justin Wiegand with the steal gives it back to Foreman. Sutter to Foreman. Now Wiegand and Faith wants to take a timeout with a minute 35 left. A full timeout. We will take one as well with that. With the score, Faith Christian 38. Temple Christian 33. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home of New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. 95 ticks, that's all that's left on the clock. Faith with the lead as Wigan takes the pass from Sutter. And he's called for traveling. That gives it back to Temple Christian. A minute 26, so nine seconds come off the clock. Boger drives in, dishes it off to Segrist. Cannot get it to go. Sutter with the rebound, and he is fouled. Well, based on previous history, that's not a bad foul. We will walk the length of the court. The one and one is in effect. Matt Sutter will go to the line, getting the one in bonus. A minute 14 left. Still the five-point lead for the Conquerors, 38-33. 76, 74 ticks left. On a minute 14. First free throw is good. That makes it a six-point game, 39-33. It's still a two-possession game, but it means the best Temple Christian could do really would be tie it. 
because the odds of a four-point play are slim to none. That makes it a two-possession ball game. Potentially, it is still a two-possession game and a reach-in, and that's not what you want to see. John Knight is going to be whistled for that foul. Still a common foul, though. So in that sense, I guess it was an okay foul. Andy Boger puts it in play, and it is tipped away quickly down to Justin Wiegand. Wiegand lays it in off the glass, and count the basket. And suddenly, what was a five-point game, and... Jeff Recker not real thrilled about that, and quite frankly, I'm a little surprised. Continuation, a big part of that play. Michael Seeger is picking up the foul, his fifth. But Wigan doing the smart thing. When he heard the whistle, he just went into the shooting motion, got the basket to go, and hey, they counted it. 42-33, a nine-point lead just moments ago. It was just a five-point game, so Wigan with a chance to make it a ten-point game, which would equal the biggest lead of the night. Justin Foreman set to check in. He will replace Matt Sutter. And a timeout is taken by Temple Christian. And I believe all they have is a full timeout, so we will take one as well. A minute to remain. 62 ticks left. It's Faith Christian 42, Temple Christian 33. Helping underwrite this event, the Made Right Sandwich Shop, located on North Broadway in Greenville. The Ansonia Lumber Company, located on Main Street by Gilbert Feller's Funeral Home of Brookville and Kreitzer Funeral Home of Arcanum by Greenville National Bank, with locations throughout Dark County. Cox Insurance, located in Ansonia and in Greenville. Homestretch Sportswear in Wapakoneta and St. Henry and Ambixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Oliver Floyd Funeral Home in Greenville and Pope Braun Funeral Home in New Madison, Montage Cafe located in downtown Greenville, McCabe Painting Incorporated of Greenville, Osgood State Bank with several locations, Family Health Services, Greenville Arcanum for sales in New Madison, State Farm Insurance, your agent Jim Gable, and by M. Bixler Video Productions. Now well, Justin Wiegand will be at the free throw line with a chance to make this a 10-point ball game. 42-33. And he does as he gets the bounce. 43-33 as Doug Unger runs into Kenneth Unger. Kenneth, or rather Chris Boger, couldn't get that to drop. Quickly ahead, and it's intercepted by Andy Boger. We're under a minute. Andy Boger stops, fires for three, leaves it short. Knight nearly grabbed the rebound. It is to Sean Quarter, though. Dustin Wiegand tips it out. The rebound is to David Unger. Cannot get it to go. Andy Boger with the rebound. They just can't get it to drop, though, as Chris Boger fires for three. And this time, Foreman grabs the rebound, and David Unger is whistled for the foul. And that is the tenth foul. So Aaron Foreman will go to the line, getting the double bonus. Forty-three, thirty-three, twenty-six point two seconds remaining. Bill Walker will check into the ball game and will replace John Knight. However, Aaron Foreman will get two free throws. The double bonus, in effect for the remaining remaining 26.2 seconds. And 
not get the first to drop. Now the substitutions checking in. Mike Walker and also Bill Walker checking in as John Knight and Nick North will take a seat. Their night is over. Faith Christian will win this, advancing their record to 3-1. and one. Temple Christian will fall. Their record will drop to 1-2 and two as the second free throw is good by Foreman, making it 44-33. David Foreman slices down the lane, gets that to drop. And a timeout taken with 16 seconds exactly. And they failed to put the point on the board for Faith Christian. It should be 44-36. Timeout taken, a full timeout. 16 ticks is all that remains in this one. Well, now they say 43-35. Actually, it still should be 44-35. was 43-33 when Aaron Foreman was at the free throw line. He missed the first, did get the second, making it 44-35 as the basket was good by Temple Christian. And then a timeout taken. 16 ticks, that's what remains here tonight. Temple Christian ready to... Faith Christian ready. Temple Christian making their way back out. Justin Wiegand and Aaron Foreman, the only starters remaining in for Faith Christian is Justin Foreman. Bill and Mike Walker in the ballgame as Justin Wiegand makes his way down the court. He is fouled. He will go to the line, getting two. Thirteen point eight seconds, so they didn't even get three seconds off the clock. Justin Wiegand's first free throw is good. A lead back to ten, 45-35. Second free throw is on the way, and it rattles around and drops, so the lead is 11. Kenneth Unger across midcourt gives it to Andy Boger. Fires for three, leaves it long. Kenneth Unger will take the three-pointer. He leaves it short. David Unger fires for three at the buzzer and nails it. It counts. That makes it an eight-point ball game, but it's over as Faith Christian has defeated Temple Christian here tonight, 46-38. to 38. Faith Christian will move on as they now stand at 3-1 and one on the year. Temple Christian, as we said, the Eagles drop to 1-2. and two. Again, the final score here tonight, Faith Christian 46, Temple Christian 38. From Temple Christian High School in Connersville, Indiana, I'm Mark Bixler for M. Bixler Video Productions, saying so long, everybody.